they view it and I mean, provide suggestions. So after that, we can just uh, uh, so after that, your change will be merged into UNTX, assuming there are no issues with it, with it. And yep, that's how most of this work. And yeah, uh, now let's proceed with the Ubuntu remixes bit. Yeah. Uh, so I'll show you how I created the uh, so, uh, Ubuntu UNTX. So uh, in here, Ubuntu Unity, Ubuntu. Uh, one second, let it load. Ubuntu remixes. One sec, let me just take the shared notes. One second, give someone some suspicion. Yep, I'm the developer of Ubuntu Unity. Uh, I just saw the shared notes, and yep, I'm the developer of Ubuntu Unity, and I'm 11 years old. Now 11, last year I was 10. So, yep, actually, I turned 12 today, so yeah. And uh, okay, uh, Ubuntu uh, Unity X. I mean, also, I created this repo already uh, to be able to test if it worked, but yeah, so new project. Uh, one thing uh, that I wanted to let you know was that uh, here Ubuntu Mate is. Uh, Ubuntu Mate, this is the Ubuntu Mate repo. So, yep, this is not the official Ubuntu Mate of flavor, but I, uh, when I started Ubuntu remixes around a month ago, I was just testing. Uh, I was just, I just created this as a sample remix to be able to test, to be able to fix bugs in the Ubuntu remixes builder. So, yep, Ubuntu Mate. Uh, so, all of these that uh, they're all uh, forks of the Ubuntu Mate repo in here. So let me check the chat. There's a message in there. Once. Thank you, sleepy eyes. Thanks. One sec. Let me just check the little bit. Give someone something there. No. So we we'll go on. Uh, oops, I'm sharing. I wasn't sharing this window. One sec. Give me one sec. Oh, Ubuntu one new project. Yep. So, uh, this I was showing the screen instead, but I hadn't shared the Firefox window. So, yep. One sec. Screen share has ended. Let me share my screen in case it's not appeared. Firefox new project share. Hmm, strange. Ah, yeah, that's good now. So Ubuntu, uh, so Ubuntu Unity X. So all of, like I was saying earlier, earlier I hadn't shared the Firefox window only. So yep. So this is the Ubuntu Remixes subgroup uh, in, uh, this is the subgroup in the Ubuntu Unity uh, GitLab group organization. Like uh, GitLab groups are like GitHub orgs. So yep. Ubuntu Unity X. Uh, so I already created this repo, but uh, I'll create, uh, uh, just to show how you can do it. So like I was saying earlier, all of these remixes are based on the Ubuntu Mate repo here. That all forks of the Ubuntu Mate repo. Because uh, I initially created the Ubuntu Mate repo just for testing the Ubuntu Remix Builder. And this is not the official Ubuntu Mate uh, flavor. But yeah, Ubuntu Simon is now using this builder. And... Yep, we have a number of new remixes such as Ubuntu Divinity, Ubuntu Gnome Nightly, and Skull, and many other remixes. New pro so a uh, new project, Ubuntu Unity Create Blank Project, uh, Ubuntu uh, Unity Oops, not Blank Project Import Project. So yep, I did copy the Ubuntu Mate uh, repo URL. And since it wants dot get, well, no, this is sure. It's, it's, it's best dot get and Ubuntu. Uh, one second, let me check the shared notes in case. Yep. No, nothing in shared notes. No questions in Ubuntu discuss either. So Ubuntu Unity. Uh, 
into unity x. It won't let me create the project, but I'll just show you. So you can just import the Ubuntu Mate repo and and create the new repo and public yeah, free project. It won't let me guess. Yep, names are already been taken, parts are already been taken. That's because the repo already exists. Ubuntu remixes. Yeah, so Ubuntu Unity X. This is the repo, and now I'll show you how I built it. So, yeah, I have it here as well. One sec, let's just close this. By the way, in case you're wondering, that's now playing widget. I mean, now clocking. Copy widget. Oops, it's not even visible. Ubuntu uh, Unity X. Uh, I mean, remixes, CD remixes. CD Ubuntu Unity X. And yeah, and now we can just uh, uh, start the build. But yeah, I'll show you how it, I built it. So uh, after forking the repo, first of all, I edited the grub.cfg file. And there's a bug. Grab this one. I'll just quickly fix it right now and push it. Push it after this. Uh, after the session, yep, let's change it to no more set. So in simple words, I edited the grub.cfg file. I added uh, the Ubuntu Unity X bit. I changed it from Ubuntu Mate to Ubuntu Unity X. And yep, I just had to change that. And then build.conf in here, uh, Ubuntu Unity X, this name Ubuntu Unity X, out ISO, that is the final ISO name. Ubuntu Unity X wave under 10 dot ISO and it will also generate an MD5 sum to the name out ISO dot, dot MD5 sum that is Ubuntu Unity X wave under 10 dot ISO dot MD5 sum. Oh yeah, I guess someone's asking a question. Uh, next. Thank you, Valkyries. Uh, nano build. Remix SSH. Yeah, so first of all, uh, in build, uh, build slash build SSH. So usually, uh, yeah, in most remixes, it's like uh, by the way, uh, I'm checking talk as well. So, yeah, in here, uh, I hope my screen's visible by the way. Uh, Oops, I was sharing the Firefox window all the time. Never mind. Let's share this window. Nope, for some reason, I was able to share my screen again. So give me one sec. I'll... Terminal share. Yep. So now, uh, I was showing this that, uh, now, uh, first of all, in most remixes, you'll find that, uh, like the Ubuntu Mate one, which I'll show here in just a second. Uh, I'll leave it. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, in all the remixes, usually we just remove uh, all the GNOME packages. But in this case, we are not because Unity X does not have its own apps at the moment. It's like a desktop environment without apps. So yeah, so we're keeping the GNOME apps for now. And we'll remix that message. And yeah, so it's like uh, how the commands which you the commands which you run on a normal machine uh to uh, start uh, uh, to uh, install Unity X and other tools, and thanks to Coco. So yeah, uh, and will slash remix the message. So now it will just get the Unity X key, add the key, and then delete it. Everyone uses it. Yeah, then do that for sure. You know, it's sophisticated. So yeah. So echo uh, this, yep, and then so the apt update, add apt repository, apt purge, and it will then install in DX. And by the way, we are using QDM3 at the moment instead of like DM in this remix because I actually made it yesterday because uh, earlier the topic was slightly different. But yeah, uh, we had, I had made a few changes to it yesterday, and yep, 
Yes. And then pseudo APT purge GNOME session, Ubuntu session. In case uh, GDMC has a recommend on GNOME session and Ubuntu session, we log in purge Ubuntu session and GNOME session. Yep. In case GDMC also has a recommend on GNOME session. So uh, now it's as simple as uh, to start the build, you can just run sudo fetch build. Uh, yep, it does require it at the moment because the build obviously requires it because it will need to mount the ISO, uh, unsquash the file system, and so on. So, yep, sudo fetch build. You can just run it, and then the ISO will build. And yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not running it at the moment because it will take a lot of time to start the build. Especially on this machine because it starts thermal throttling and then the build's extremely slow. And we have only around, I guess, five minutes more. So, yeah. So, instead, I'll be showing this one sec. Uh, so, I've booted the uh, generated ISO. So, uh, in here, you'll find that this ISO got generated Ubuntu ETX 21.10.ISO. So, I booted that, I booted it up in here and yeah. Yeah, it, it's not so good on small screens in virtual box. Yep, because virtual box doesn't change the height. So one sec, let me share the virtual box window. Virtual box share. Yep. So this is the generated ISO which got generated uh, after running to the fetch build. But with just one more thing, uh, you won't want to run a sudo fetch build every single time you start the build because then it will re-download the Ubuntu ISO. Also, I guess it's obvious that Unix doesn't look good on small screens, unlike Gano, which is only focused on small screens. So, yeah. So, uh, this is the ISO, and now in, in case you want to do this, yep, we can launch the installer as well, which will take one or two minutes. Launch Bikiti Windows app and yeah, let it take its time. But this is a fully installable ISO, it's like well, you could flash it to a USB drive and then install it. Thanks, RJ. So, uh, yeah. Oh, you know, Hindi as well. Great. I mean. uh, yeah, so uh, it, this is the installer, and it's obvious right now. Uh, I guess it means it's a 0.71 GBs out of 5.8 GBs with the installer open. So, yeah, that's amazing. But uh, just one more thing, and that is, is that uh, it's not point it's not 71 gbs out of 5.8 gbs but it's more like 0.72 or 0.71 out of 5.8 that's because it's on a small screen that's why some of the stuff is cut out it's not designed for such small screens so yeah you can now install it that's about it i guess and yeah also it would be great if you have any suggestions on an alternative toolkit to uh to gtk or cute because they have been doing most acute might become might become close source again and yeah. So it would be great if you could suggest an alternative. I could I was taking a look at TK, yep, the old TK or the Python TK because it does have proper team support now. Uh and yeah, uh so you it even has Yadu and other teams available, TK, with some external packages such as TTK teams. So in case you have any suggestions, I was taking a look at that and Flutter. I know many of you must be knowing that I'm not a big supporter of uh, Google after Ubuntu Web Remix, but yeah, uh, it's open source, so no problem with that. Uh, and Ubuntu 2 is adopting Flutter. So to be honest with you, I don't have many problems with using Flutter. So I was investigating Flutter as well. And yeah, oh, one second. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll end the session now. Sure, RJ. That was it, anyways. So, yeah, give me one sec. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, uh, 
I guess that's it for today. Uh, I could have shared more, but yeah, uh, I guess uh, that's it. And I might, you'll want to take a look at the Twitter account because I might announce Ubuntu Unity X Remix and the other remixes, such as Ubuntu Divinity on Twitter today. And it's also my birthday today, so yeah, I turned 12. So I guess we'll have to end here. So thank you everyone for joining in and see you next time. Bye. Bye.